Ladies and gentlemen, start clapping right now. Make some noise right now. It's very, your next comedian is a very funny guy, man. You see him on distance50.com. Young Jack Thriller, all the way from Albany, Georgia. Give it up, Young Jack Thriller! Hey, 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 hey. Ladies, let me hear you make some noise. Let me hear you make some noise. Hey, let me tell you something, man. Hey, y'all better stop acting bougie with me, goddamn. I know some of y'all in here with new shoes on the dirty side. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is Gabriel Hart, a.k.a. Video God, a.k.a. Memphis Made Man, a.k.a. Nashville, New Getting Rich, a.k.a. Chattanooga Sushan Boy, hollering at you right now with my boy Young Jack Thule on Disney50.com. Blow! Good morning, Vietnam! I'm on the hard bench trying to sleep in the hole pen. Man, how the fuck did I get here again? First thing in the morning, it's the fuck shit. Gabe, what's going on with you, baby? Not much, man. We are here live at the Uptown Comedy Corner where we started, where we got our first start, where we got our comedy, how we able to reach people in our format, the creativity and visuals and comedy and stuff like that. We home, baby. Don't be worried. I'm coming home. Coming home. <laughs> hey, Drake is a cold motherfucker, ain't he? Just hold on, I'm going home. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on, Drake? Man, what's going on, dog? We first at Uptown. First of all, man. Hold okay. on, man. Proud of you, brother. No, I'm proud of you, brother. I remember uh, us watching Nick Cannon wilding out. Mm. I think it was over your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was I it? didn't have a house. Right, right, right. <laughs> uh, I was at my mama's house, so it, it kind of really wasn't my house either. Right, it was, it was everybody's house. Right. And man, to see you own that shit, dude, it was. I was like, it was a moment, bro. And, and, and Isn't I, it always what we talked about? It's everything we talked about, bro. Everything. You know I work with Nick Cannon now, right? I know you work with Nick Cannon. Yeah, yeah. And you know what's funny? Tell the gigolo story. The Gigolo story uh, with you? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, you was the big Nick Cannon fan. Yeah, and see, and niggas be thinking that shit just came out of nowhere. And oh, no. <laughs> it's like, in his world, it's like, <laughs> I'm going to put him on blast, but Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh, Mike. I've never lost a water balloon fight. <laughs> Uh, Cisco. Now, I copycatted off of you, but my face ain't regular. It, it didn't go with that shit. You gotta have a special kind of face for that shit. And Nick Cannon. <laughs> Hey, I didn't Jiggle know was my shit. It's and he Jiggle could under everybody knew. He could understand why I like I that just song. I didn't get it. I didn't understand. I love the song. I like that song. Hey, keep in mind he worked with Nick Cannon. <laughs> I love that song. If Nick loved it, I love it. <laughs> I wild it out. He wild it out. We're gonna get leave it back. right there. No, but if you go back and look at that video, uh Nick, it was a low budget video, I can tell because Nick Hurl wasn't doing it. Back, it, was, <laughs> it was a little crinkly and shit. It wasn't. It was just like you know, you know how a girl go to the pool and it be dry. Right, right, it was right. Like that. But anyway, it's a joke. Shout out to Nick Cannon. And uh, man, you're doing a lot of different cool things right now, man. Like I said, and it, it all started from like when we was at uh, Uptown Comedy Club. Right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting booed right here. Getting on this stage. All these niggas, Lil Duval. You know what I'm saying? Double D. Uh, uh, yeah, Earthquake. Uh, well, he was already on. But these are the people we was around, you know what I'm saying? Chris Tucker come through, Mike Gepson come through, do a guest spot, bump us off, bump us off the list. Uh, all the great comedians that's out right now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Tyler Craig, uh, people you probably would never hear of or haven't heard of yet. Uh, this is where we get our timing from, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? How we're able to communicate, you know, our, our, our uh, creativity, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like years in the back of the club, on stage, studying and soaking up the brightest minds and spoken word, you mm. know what I'm saying? Mm. And, and timing, reading the crowd. Because when I edit, that's what I'm doing. I, I I feel the pressure of the crowd watching you after you did your best joke. Mm. And the time between that joke, the laugh, and the next joke. Mm. When to do it, not too fast, not but not too slow. You know what I'm saying? The callbacks, all that stuff is the same elements in filmmaking. You know what I'm saying? That's where I get my timing from. People don't realize that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it is a parallel between comedy Absolutely. And, and being a music director. Absolutely, bro. It's do you do you categorize yourself as a music video director, or how do you categorize <clears throat> yourself? Because you do so many different things. I'm a filmmaker, mm. and um, because I have film elements. You know, we did a film mm. before I even did videos. I, I wasn't even video conscious. You know, I was able to do videos, obviously. But I never even thought about doing music videos. And the fact of, of us being in a musical city like Atlanta, it was a natural progression because people were in demand to do visuals at a low cost, and I was able to supply that. But you know, we we shot comedy sketches. That's that's right. where it 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 came from. Nigga, let go the bike, dog. I ain't letting go shit. My War. They won my ass in the porches in the pear tree. Number two. Five golden rings, goddamn. <laughs> Hey, 
so like how do you make the correlation from being a a a a, a comedian mm-hmm. all the way to being a director? I mean, what what is the, I what mean, is the I, ride like? Well, because I saw it. Well, it, I wasn't I wasn't that good of a comedian compared to Lil Duval and K Dub and Shotty Shotty and yourself. Uh, I could write jokes, uh, but I just couldn't keep up every week because every week you had to have a better joke. You had to seem like you niggas was every week adding another minute to y'all set. Mm. And my shit was like one joke every two weeks. You know what I mean? And I was trying to story my shit out. Y'all niggas was up there just vibing with it and feeling with it, like connecting with the crowd. And I hated that. You know what I'm saying? It's just, but my style was more long form. It was more storytelling. Mm. But I wasn't confident. I was trying to get on the get on the mic and get off quick as possible. But my style needed time. I mm. needed time to tell my story, and set it up. Mm. So I think me being a director and a filmmaker compensates for you know for that. You know right. what I'm saying? It makes me, it, it helps me out because I have the time to actually sit back, develop my story, put the story in place. You know, go back look at the shit. Like that's how I was doing my stand up. The same way I kind of edit videos. You know what I'm saying? But you don't have that much time because you have a ticker. As soon as you get on stage, people start, okay, nigga, hurry up, make it funny. You say that one joke, ha, all right, give me another one. You know what I'm saying? So you don't really have time if you're not just the natural outgoing personality. You don't have time to sit there and just figure it out. You got to have your shit together. You know what I'm saying? So my style didn't permit me to actually, you know, stay on stage for that long. It was like get in and get out. So I didn't develop well. But you guys really – Y'all had it, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I think being a filmmaker was just an outlet for me to, to do my comedy, which is why we did the sketches, you know what I'm saying? I kind of brought everybody along with that ride, but then the rappers that was in the crowd started coming to me for videos. I'm like, nigga, what would that mean? Video? I'm me do a video? Mm. Oh, okay. And so, so we did it, and then that shit just really just took off, you know what I mean? It's back to 50, you already know. Get the money. Hey, shut the fuck up, watch me do what I'm doing, cause niggas can't stop nothing and I'm doing nothing. I'm doing. Right after you get in the way, we gonna start shooting again.